Autodesk Inventor Content Center libraries are an interesting topic because it really depends on how you have your system set up for uh, either you're using Vault, you're not using Vault, uh, are you using a network location to store all your information or not. But the Content Center libraries can be controlled through the application options in Inventor. So if I go into the options and take a look at where that information is stored on the Content Center tab, you can see that the Content Center library access options will define where those libraries are actually stored. So in my case, they're desktop content libraries. I do not have my libraries stored within Vault. Now, along with that, if you're using desktop content libraries, there's an additional location that gets stored along with this, and that's on the File tab. Uh, you'll see that there is a default Content Center Files path listed here inside of this tab. This location is where Inventor will actually put Content Center library parts when you create them from Content Center. So if I place a new part from the Content Center, none of those parts exist until I actually grab them and place them into an assembly. And then Inventor will actually construct a physical part file for those components. So if I were to actually take a look at this location, so this is user profile and then documents, Inventor Content Center files and Inventor release number. So if we take a look at what's inside of this default content center files location, we'll be able to see what parts I've already grabbed from the content center libraries. So let's take a look and see what's in there. So we'll go underneath uh, my documents and go down to inventor and content center files and my latest release is 2018. If I drill down, you can see there's a whole bunch of different folders. These relate to the industry standards used for these various parts. And if I go down into any of these, you'll see that there are a number of different components listed here. And it just depends on what I place. These are probably some sort of fastener, probably just a simple bolt. Okay. But this is where Inventor actually creates and stores these. And it's supposed to be a common location so that you can get access to them whenever you need them. Um, the key thing here is that it sort of acts as a common location for all of your assemblies. So if you make more assemblies in Inventor and you place the exact same component into a second assembly or a third assembly, Inventor does not actually create another copy of that component. It just places the exact same copy that's already in this folder here uh, so that you only have one copy for that component and uh, you can use it as often as you need to and it's a standard component so it never changes and it never needs to uh, never needs to get saved separately unless you wanted to place it as a custom component but this also brings up another interesting issue because when you switch versions of inventor the 2019 version of inventor for instance will have a separate folder uh, you can see if I go back into Content Center Files, I have versions for the previous releases of Inventor that I have also installed. And so the key thing here is that generally, if you're going to be using Content Center, I would recommend changing this path to a common location, something that uh, does not have something related to a specific release number of Inventor. You can put it into, say, uh, C... Uh, inventor content center components or whatever you want to do uh, you could use a network location the only downside to that is if your network goes down now you lose access to that stuff but uh, especially if you're going to be sharing assemblies with multiple users you're probably going to have to use a network location for this directory so if I go back to inventor you would want to change this default content center files path to point to a common location and then have all of your users point to that same folder. That way when one person places a component, then that component's already been created for every other user. Otherwise, if you just leave this set to default and you open up an assembly that you made in say 2016, you open it in 2017 or 2018, this will be in a different location. Inventor is not going to be able to locate 
all of those components that you've already created, you'll basically end up recreating them all over again. If you point this to a common location, and you never change that, and then every year you just keep changing this to that same common location, all of those parts already exist, and Inventor can just go ahead and keep using them. And that way, if you open something you made in an older version, that component will be there, and you'll never have to worry about having broken uh, references to components that don't exist anymore. Um, so that's what I would recommend. Uh, I would suggest changing this default content center files to a common folder either on your computer or if you're doing multiple users you'd want to point this to a common network folder where everybody points to the same location and every time you install a new version of Inventor go in here and change this path to that common location and that way it'll pick up all of those components that you've already created over the past releases of Inventor and you won't have any broken references or missing components in your older assemblies.